I'm just for our for our friends and for posterity's sake, also for your review. I want to cover the first little part of this. We'll finish it up. You're not going to have any homework. We're going to finish it up on. Okay, hold on. Today's Friday, so it's no class. So it's Wednesday. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to do a brief overview. Your description should include context, of course. And these are the salient points. You should hit these things. Uh, shape. You should have said something about it being roughly symmetric. And bimodal. Okay? So roughly symmetric and bimodal. Uh, outliers. So the cool thing about this is we should, so bimodal means there are two modes common values. So two modes, two most common values. For our outliers, you can calculate this. So you should have noted there are outliers. If you say, so two things can happen here. You could say there appear to be outliers. But if they give you the data, you should say it. Is our answer going to be two potential or two outliers? So you said, no, it's not potential if you have the data to back it up. So you'd say two outliers at 56 and 78. And as noted, well, how do we know this is 78? Check this out. This is important. And this group back here figured it out. How do you know it's at 56 and 78? Well, this is your max, this is your min. So it's max and min, okay? So SO, so our center. So our center, we have our mean. We also have our median. So you should say it's something like the, the, the mean is at uh, 67.45. This is from the chart. So how would you know that? Otherwise, you wouldn't. But now you know. OK, and then our very, how do you describe variability in, the, in this case? Standard deviation. Oh, they, are you serious? They give it to us. Okay? They give it to us. So we should talk about the standard deviation if they give it to us. Okay? So we went through SOCV variability, so our standard deviation is 4.807. And because we've talked about the mean being here, we now talked about the standard deviation, people can make judgments about 56 and 78 because they have some relative stuff here, meaning uh, one standard deviation above this is about 71. Well, 78 is kind of getting up there. Okay, so and we're going to talk about that a little bit more, but that's kind of the basic gist of it. If they give you the information, use it. If they didn't give you this and they just gave you the dot plot, your, your description would be a lot more generic. But because they give you this chart, which by the way is a one, two, three, four, five number summary, plus mean and standard deviation, okay? So they give you all this info. They give you all that info. Wait, so how would you write these summits? Like, how would you want it? This distribution is roughly symmetric and bimodal, with outliers at 56 and 78. It has a mean at 67.45 and a standard deviation of 4.807. That's all you have to say? You have to state You'd say, so you'd say, so you'd say, this, this distribution, so you'd say, this distribution of the sample heights of 20 AP students is roughly symmetric and bimodal. It has outliers at 56 and 78. Its center appears to be uh, at its mean of 67.45, and it has a standard deviation of 4.807. Boom, you've now described it. You've given us something. Okay? Center, I thought you wanted the median. Hmm, what do you pick? What do you pick? What do you do? So what if you said median instead of mean? You'd still be correct. They want you to talk about where the center is, where one of those one of those pieces of data. Okay. So you said median at unless they specifically ask for something else. Okay. Ariana is 65 inches tall. What percentage of the heights are less than 65? Four of them of the 20 is 25 percent 